Hey everyone, today I have this old vintage lantern right here. This lantern, you see you open it up here, and right inside of it you have your wick, and it's shiny in the back so it reflects and it shines a beam. And all the exhaust goes up through the top, you got all these vents. The front of it is glass. And you have this part on the side. This is so you can bolt it to something and have it held like this, like on the side of a wagon years ago. And on the back of it, it has this big clip so you can put paperwork or something in here. Here you have your switch, this little knob you turn, adjust how bright the flame is. Let me show that. You open up the front of it, and by turning this knob, it lowers the wick and raises the wick. So the lower it is, the smaller the flame will be. You lower it all the way down inside there, and it puts the flame out. It smothers it to shut the thing off. Okay, now, underneath it, see this part? You squeeze and the whole thing pulls out and you can change and put a new wick in it or you have to do this to fill it up now this part unscrews see you fill this whole thing up with lighter fluid or lamp fuel and you put the wick back in there screw it on hold it upside down Get the wick all saturated and light it up. Now, let me show what this says. It says patent, patent November 2590, January. What does that say? Uh, 2697. I don't think it's from the 90s. I, it might be from 1926, but let me zoom in on that. W what do you think this means? November 25th, 90, January, and then again it says uh, 2697. I'm guessing those are just random patent numbers. Who knows, but this thing today, just for an example, I want to show how it burns. I'm not going to fill the entire thing up. I'm just going to put some on the wick because I don't have a lot of lighter fluid. I'm just going to put some on the wick for an example of the thing. And I'm going to light it up and I'm going to shine it onto this wall, shut the light off and see how well it works. Okay, let me start off with this. Just going to put a little bit of lighter fluid onto the end of it. Okay. Just got that saturated, just the wick, so it would only burn like a minute or so. And I'm going to put it back into here. I have to line the knob up with the inside of the lamp. Squeeze, and it's in. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the front of it again. Got my lighter. There we go. See that? Okay, you see the smoke coming out of there? It's only going to burn for a minute, so that's not a big deal. But you see, there we go. I may have lit it a little too much. Let me lower the flame. Okay, you see how I dimmed the flame? Because it was coming out of the exhaust pipe. It was way too big. Let me go kill the light and see how big the beam is. Okay, you see that? Let me turn up the heat. Let me find it. Look at that. Really light. See that I guess the smoke detector works good. 
Just had to go get, get the smoke detector shut off. Now just turned it back up again and we get the light off again. It actually does sh shine a lot of light, but it's starting to burn out now. Okay, I'm outside right now. I'm going to try this again. Outside, right up against the house. So, here I go. Saturating the wick. Okay. Get my lantern out. Line it up in there, squeeze. Open up the lens on the thing. Try this out. There we go. It's gotta be turned down a little bit. Come on, don't smother. There it is lighting up. I think I'm smothering it, it's on a little too high. Okay, there we go. Steady, now I'm gonna shut my flash off so you can see how bright it is against the building. It's actually pretty bright now, don't you say? Yeah, take a look at that no camera flash. This thing is just as bright as any flashlight, except it's the color orange. It's fire, and it actually keeps my hand nice and warm. It's super bright. And because I just wet the wick, it's now dying out. If you actually filled this thing up, the entire reservoir, on high, it would probably run at least an hour. But thanks for watching. Hope this video was interesting. I just wanted to show this. That clip of the smoke detector going off in the house... I easily could have edited that out, but I decided to leave it because I thought it was kind of funny that I accidentally set it off. But you know what's amazing? This smoke detector responded before the modern one I have right next to it. I know you're supposed to replace your old smoke detectors every couple years, but this old one from the 80s, it's still doing a great job. It's more sensitive than the newer ones. Where does it say the 80s? I know it's from the 80s. Uh, let's see. I really don't know where the date is, but it's a good smoke detector. It always goes off before the newer ones. It's very sensitive. And this is kind of messed up. Look what it says in there. It's made by Duracell. Is that what that says? And first alert. They want you to use Duracell batteries, it looks like. But I'm using Sunbeam. Thanks for watching.